think here's a case where you call in this spot and you really don't know what you want. You may have the best hand with two fives. If you catch a flush, it might be good, but your opponent might have a bigger flush. You don't know what you want. So you see John Juwanda out in front with 6.2 million. Here we go. All right, Andy's are 10,000. Blinds are 40 and 80. Action going on the man we know as the big cheese, Tom Marchese, out of Precipity, New Jersey. 24 years old. He's got queen six. Well, just a nothing hand, but he's on the button, and good players like to raise on the button, and he's doing it. Yep, makes it 175 to go. Andrew Robel, the 25-year-old from Vermont, going away. John Juwanda. That's 180. How do I make it 175? Okay. Now, Juwanda going to defend in the big blind with just an 8-6 offsuit. So, queen six up against 8-6. Here we go. And flop comes 5-4-3 with two spades. John checks his opening straight draw, and Marchese with the same opening straight draw, he's going to make a bet. Yeah, Marchese's going to bet at 175. Juwanda liking this action. He's not going anywhere. Makes the call. And the green card for Juwanda is a seven. Give him the nuts and get Marchese broke. But a deuce comes off. Both players have a six high straight. But notice Juwanda's got the six of spade. He's got a straight flush draw. So he is on the free roll, as we say. Yep, got the straight and the spade draw. He is going to bet at 250,000. And he's going to bet it because he's hoping Marchese has an ace in his hand, which would give him a lower straight and a hand he might not be able to get away from. So three spades out there, so it is danger time. Marchese will make this call. We've got the same hand at this point. Let's see if the spade comes up. Nope. And the nondescript nine of diamonds comes off. Juwanda gonna make a bet, a half a million. Yep. Pot's got 1.2 million in it. He bets 500,000. Action on Marchese now. Obviously, he knows that there's an outside chance that Juwanda could have a flush here. Where six high straight isn't any good, but certainly he's gonna call this. All in. Whoa. Forget about calling. He's moved all in. Unbelievable. Now, even though Juwanda's got a six high straight, he's afraid his opponent's got a flush, and he throws the hand away. What a bet by Marchese there. Look at that. He showed the queen of diamonds. Now, in Juwanda's mind, he knows he's been had. Right there, Marchese showing the queen of diamonds and the big cheese now in second chip position. And Juwanda's still in front with 5.1, but big cheese coming on. Beautifully done. I can feel the steam coming off Juwanda's head right now for throwing that hand away. Even though we know he would have split the pot, but he doesn't know it. He thinks he got robbed. This hand, where Casey's already raised with a nothing 10-3 of diamonds. Andrew's gone out. John Juwanda now with a real hand, ace jack. And he's going to move it up to 510. Says, pal, think you're going to bluff me the last pot and get away with it this time? I don't think so. Let me three bet you right here. Big cheese, though, has to be feeling good after that last hand, but might have got a little too sloppy with this one. Hasn't folded yet, though. Wait a second. He's not going to just call. He is going to raise with 10 3. Oh, this is incredible. He just outplayed Juwan to the last hand. Going to try to outplay him here. Only has a 10 3. Big cheese is looser than a schoolgirl after confession. Well, awful line. He has four bet him here with a 10-3. And all of a sudden, you think you have a premium hand here with the ace-jack. And now you get four bet, and it just shrinks up into nothing. But you want to gonna make the call, wants to see a flop. So here we go. These two guys going to war. Now flop queen 7-7, seven, seven, no help to anybody. Juwanda checks. Marchese has been relentless with his continuation bets. He's done it 100% of the time. He gets the last bet in before the flop. And he's doing it here. He certainly is with absolutely nothing. Zip and pip 10-3. He is betting 550. And the pot's got 1.9 million in it. 
So because of that prize, Jawanda may continue to get involved, but the way the hand's played, it's hard to keep playing ace-jack, folks. And he lays it down, and in back-to-back -back pots, Tom Marchese has outplayed the old-school veteran, John Juwanda. Oh, man, the Big Cheese has great poker instincts. He's only 24 years old, but he's one of the best in the world. This winter doesn't have to be long, cold, and boring. Imagine flying into Vegas, staying at a beautiful hotel, and playing poker with the biggest names. And it's all paid for. Win your chance for a free poker dream vacation. Win a free seat to the WPT World Championship in Las Vegas. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT39 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. He's scratching his head. What was I thinking moving all in there? Well, he's playing great. Tom Marchese, the big cheese. Is the chip leader with 5.7 million this time? He's got king six, and he's raised it to 175. And Robo folding. Well, certainly, Marquez has been the most aggressive player at this table, no doubt about that. Well, John Jawanda has called with a four or five of spades. Here we go with the flop, and look oh. at this: Jawanda with a four flush and a pair. Jawanda's check. Marquez is betting 225. Well, you're going to see a check raise here. You got a pair and a flush draw, you're just putting all your dough in with it. You can't be drawn dead no matter what your opponent has. Well, you're right. Makes it 725 to go. Now he knows the two sixes would be good if he puts Juanda on a drawing hand, meaning a straight draw or a flush draw. And that's apparently what he's done because he's called the half a million dollar raise. He's going to get stubborn. He's sticking around. Here's the turn card. It's not a spade. Queen doesn't help either player. Andrew Robel has gone a little quiet, gets up from the table. John looks over. Well, we're getting a little loving in here while these two guys are clashing. Well, Juwan is going to check. And look at this. Now, folks, Marchese is not betting here because he thinks he's bluffing. He's betting because he thinks he's got the best hand. He has put Juwanda on a drawing hand. And if he doesn't have the queen of spades, he knows his two sixes are the best hand. Well, Casey's bet 700,000. Is it time for Jawanda to come over the top? We will see. John Jawanda once sold Bibles door to door before poker. And now he's trying to figure out this hand. He's making this call. He'd love to catch his flush. Down to the river we go. Did he catch the flush? No. The board pairs queens. Jawanda checks. Sure. Well, Marquez is going to check also and win the pot with two sixes. Unbelievable. And Jawanda is saying to himself, wow, look at this guy. He called my $500,000 raise on the flop, and then he bet $700,000 on the turn. How'd this guy know? Oh, boy, Jawanda's saying, who is this guy, young punk? I can tell you what he's saying. He's saying, this kid plays above the rim. I got to go a little higher if I want to get a rebound off of him, that's for sure. Woo! We are seeing some poker. Well, the Big Cheese is reading Jawanda perfectly. But I'm telling you, both those players fought for that pot. Mm. You just can't do it any better than that. He won the first two pots without having the best hand, and he won that one by getting a value bet in after he got raised 500,000 more and called him with middle pair and then bet it on the turn. I was there. All right, Tom or Casey this time going to raise. Robo taking another break. Jawanda has got to be steaming with a 9-6 of hearts. Going to make the call, though. Tom or Casey, big cheese, way out in front now with close to 8.4 million in chips. Here's the flop, and look at this flop. Now it's come ace, king, queen. Jawanda's flopped the flush, and he's going to check. Yeah, this is pretty much a cold deck here. And big cheese has flopped a straight, and he's going to bet 225. Obviously, you're going to bet with a straight here. This is just... Revenge time, perhaps, for John Juwanda. Well, it's going to be time for him to double up, Vince. Expect him to raise here. I expect Marquez to get the money in. Well, he has raised it. And you can't blame him if he does. He's just run into a cold deck, as we say. Uh, Juwanda has made it 7-10 to go. The hand sort of plays itself. There's the Royal Flush Girl Social Bar. And that's our buddy William Reynolds, the adventurer, the poker player. Yeah, he's ones to watch this year on the World Poker Tour, but as you said, Thanks to climb mountains and do everything. Yeah, interesting guy, and his best buddies here with Big Cheese. And all in. 
call. Big Cheese has got all in a quick call, of course, by John Juwanda. Well, Big Cheese can just start counting out how much Juwanda has because he's doubling him up, drawing dead. Unless something ridiculous happens. Can come a Royal Plus. John Juwanda going to double up here unless it comes Jack of Hearts, Ten of Hearts. Then they would split the pot. Yeah, let's do that. And there's John Jawanda's family. <laughs> and William Reynolds sweating out Jack of Hearts. And that's his sister, Vince. And when Jawanda was young, playing out on the tour and made some money, he took that money and put his sister through college. To the turn. Yeah, that seemed right. And a nine of diamonds on the turn. That's going to wrap it up. John Juwanda is going to take home this pot. Six of clubs. Not quite. The money didn't go in on the flop. It was going in on the turn. Just a cooler, as we say in poker. You can't get away from either hand. Juwanda doubling up there. Yes, it is payback time for John Juwanda, 40 years old. Going after his first title here. He could become a WPT champion, and that's going to get him closer to that goal. Right back on, John. This time he has an A7. The blinds are up to 50 and 100,000. John's going to make it 240 to go. Big Cheese going to take a little break. Well, Robo, who's been sitting back watching these two guys clash for quite a while now, he's going to make the call with the Jack Eight of Clubs. Will it be John Jawanda's night for the first time ever on the WPT to be a champion? This time he hits the flop, hits an ace. Andrew has checked. And John with the aces looks like he's getting out the continuation bet. Yeah, 395. Now, Robo knows that he's going to bet no matter what he has. If he's got king, queen, if he's got two fours. You're fearful your opponent's got an ace, but you just can't give up every time the guy makes a continuation bet. So you suggest a call? No. I'm saying it's a tough decision with middle pair here. All right, well, he's calling it. And what makes it tough is you not only have to face this bet, the guy bets on the turn in the river, what do you do now with two eights? Yeah. A nine comes off. That's a good card for Juwanda because he now has an open in straight draw to go along with his top pair. Global has checked, and I'm surprised at this check. John Juwanda checking there. Oh, and an eight comes off on the river. The joker for Robo right there. He's made three eights. He's going to win this pot. Oh, wow, he's going to try to trap here, it appears. He's checked it. Trying to sucker Juwanda into a bet. I don't see Juwanda betting here either. He's trying to figure out what could the guy have where he'd pay me off, and I don't see anything. Oh, he's going to slow down. And wisely so, as Robo shows him three eights. Juwanda getting very unlucky on the river there, but saying to himself, mm, I should have bet the turn. Slow roll, huh? Sort of, Jack. So things are turning. Everybody's had a shot. Andrew Robo on the short stack going to pick up that one, and he needed it. I mean, I can't have just a jack, right? Like, I have to have jack eight or ace jack or something. Andrew Robel, the poker pro out of Burlington, Vermont, 25 years old, going to pick up that pot. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action from the WPT Super High Roller. Tom Marchese, youngest player at the table, out in front with 6.6 .6 million. Well, the blinds are 50 and 100. Action to go to the big cheese, they call him. That's Tom Marchese. The 24-year-old, he's going to raise 200 with an ace jack. Andrew Robel out. Now, Juwanda. Going to defend in the big blind with the jack eight. Yes, he is. So ace jack up against jack eight. Here come the first three. Queen nine six. Helps neither player. Now, Juwanda checks. Oh, and for the first time tonight, Tom Marchese has not made a continuation bet on the flop. So, folks, I stand corrected when I said he bets 100% of the time after he raises pre-flop. He didn't do it there. Trying to mix up his game a little bit. Seven diamonds on the turn. John's going to check again. And now, with just ace high, Marchese not wanting any part of it. He checks behind him. And now a jack comes off. Both players have made two jacks. Marchese has him out kicked, but Juwanda, obviously with all the checking going on, thinks he's got the best hand with two jacks. And he's going to bet it, and I don't blame him. He's going to donate 285. Big Cheese, quick call. And Marchese going to win the pot with two jacks with an ace kicker. By not making the continuation bet, he made extra money on the river vents. And changing gears that time bode well for him. Yep. Young man from Persephone, New Jersey, Thomas Marchese. 
playing that well, but you got to mix up your game, as Doyle Brunson used to say, change gears every once in a while, and that's what we just saw. Nicely done. This time, John Jawanda first to play with the button. He's got a queen nine of clubs. And he's getting out, raising chips. You can't blame him for raising on the button here. Most players would do it. 230,000 to go into Tom. Marquesa, he just hates to give up a pot. Tom's got king five, and he's going to take a break. He lets it go reluctantly. And now Andrew Robel. This is Andrew's 17th WPT tournament. Six caches already. Yeah, he's going to defend out of the big blind. Plays in the biggest games in the world in Macau. And there's the flop. It's an ace, jack eight. And his highest finish previous to this was second to Antonio Esfandiari right here at Bellagio's Five Diamond Tournament. Andrew hits jacks. They both check, though. Turned cards to six of clubs. Doesn't help either player. Andrew now going to get out chips. Yep, he's going to bet 300,000 into John. Who has an inside straight draw. That's about it. Well, he can only win the pot with a 10 as the cards lie. But he is going to speculate. Well, he's gambling here. You wonder about that. Maybe he thinks he's going to win the pot with a 9 or a queen as well as a 10. River card deuce of clubs helps neither player. You might think Andrew Rubel made a straight draw in the turn. Maybe he's got a 7-9 or a 5-7. But here's a case if I was Andrew, I would check on the river. In case my opponent had a draw in hand, I'd want him to bet on the river. Or I could pick him off, but by leading out, you don't figure to make any money. Well, he's going to bet 600000 And John Juwanda, who we saw play 10 years ago at our very first tournament, Bellagio. In a second to Gus Hansen. He's back. It's good to see him back. And right now, he's been pushed around by these young pros. I'm going to regret this one. And he's going to push himself out of his hands. Wisely done. Andrew Robel taking the pot. Not easy to push around John Juwanda. The guy's got five World Series of Poker bracelets. He was the European World Series of Poker champion back in 2008. One of the best all-around player numerous times. He's got over 11 million in career earnings. Impressive. Now, that's impressive, too, for Will the Thrill, Fiella. He's out in front in the WPT Player of the Year standings. Can he hold him off with one event to go, the WPT World Championship? Yeah, Will, the wannabe gangster from New York. He is a character, <laughs> colorful. But let's go back to these three. Thomas Marchese has folded and rolled now. Oh, he's got the weapons of mass destruction. How do you like that? And he's going to raise with him, makes it 250 to go. John behind him has got a pair of nines. The small blind raises. You got two nines in the big blind. You're obviously going to re-raise. 750. Oh, whoa. John's made it 750. You're just not going to get away from his hand, I don't think. Just a dream scenario for Andrew Robel. The guy has three bet you here, and you're looking down at two aces. Well, do you push now, or do you just call? Hold on. Well, well, there's your answer. I think he's going to push. He's going to push, and I don't see Juwanda getting away from his hand, folks. I mean, you, your opponent has to have a giant pair for you not to have the best hand here. Uh, call. You got to do it. He's calling, and he's going to hate it. Yeah, you make the same play with two sevens or two eights or ace queen. Unfortunately for Jawanda, the guy's got the over pair, and Jawanda's going to be out in third place unless he gets some help here. Yeah, John Jawanda, 20 WPT caches, his seventh time at the final table on the World Poker Tour. His back is up against the wall right now. Insurance. <laughs> well, it's really up against it because he can't make a flush to win the pot either. They both have the same suits in their pairs. Well, John Jawanda, he used to sell Bibles door to door. Now he needs a prayer, and that's for sure. Let's see if he gets it on the flop. Five, four, three is the flop. Joanna needs a nine to win the pot. If it comes two runners to make a straight, they would split the pot. But if he doesn't get some help, the former track star will be running out of here in third place. No help there. It's a king of hearts on the turn. And Robo one card away from pushing out the great John Joanna out of the WPT Super High Roller. There's Andrew's girlfriend sweating her man. River card coming up. Wanda, can you hit the two outer? Let's see. Let's see the nope, it's a three. So that's going to do it for John Juwanda. Ten seasons ago at our first WPT ever final table, John Juwanda finished second. 
Here it is, 10 seasons later, finishing third tonight. Going to take home $526,000 for his efforts. But tonight, the young guns schooled the old school guy. Uh, John Jawanda, always a pleasure to watch him play. He's going over to talk to Jess Wellman. John, another deep run for you on the World Poker Tour. I know it's not a first place finish, but are you happy with the result? Uh, it's a little disappointing, uh, not because I finished third, but uh, I'm just not very happy with the way I played. I could have played better. You're one of the big names in the game. You were here at the first event in season one. You're here again in season 10. You know what it takes to succeed. Of these two guys, who do you think has what it takes to take down the title? Uh, they're both very tough players. But, you know, I've, I've played with Andrew, Andrew Robo a lot. You know, we've played a lot in the Cass game in Macau, and he's an awesome player and also a very good friend. So if I have to pick one guy, then, yeah, I'll go with Andrew. All right. Thanks, John, and congratulations again. Thank you. Kimberly, over to you. This winter doesn't have to be long, cold, and boring. Imagine flying into Vegas, staying at a beautiful hotel, and playing poker with the biggest names. And it's all paid for. Win your chance for a free poker dream vacation. Win a free seat to the WPT World Championship in Las Vegas. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT39 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. As we start out the heads up battle, these players are about dead even in chip count, about as close as you'll ever see when a heads up battle starts. Mine's 75, 150. Robel has Rays with 7-3. Marchese with a pair of fives. Will he pop it? No, he likes just a call. Interesting. Yeah, many players would re-raise with a small pair there. Flop, jack, Flop, nine, deuce, all diamonds. Both players have a flush draw. Andrews, of course, is higher, but Marchese right now with the best hand with two fives. But he has checked it, and Robel is going to bet it half a million. Vince, here's a case where you call in this spot and you really don't know what you want. You may have the best hand with two fives. If you catch a flush, it might be good, but your opponent might have a bigger flush. You don't know what you want. Well, a king of hearts on the turn. Is that what you want? No, he checks, apparently. Robel now. Going to check behind him. All right, they're playing nice. Down to the river we go. It's a three. That gives Robel a pair of threes. A good card for Marchese. He might not know it, but his opponent won't have to bluff at the pot at the river. He can check down two threes. That's exactly what's happened. They both and he's going to win with two fives. Amazingly, had that been a four instead of a three, there's a chance Robo would have bet on the river because it'd been the only chance for him to win the pot, and he might have won it by betting. As it is, Marchese takes down the pot. All right, now the action's on Andrew. This time he's got a pretty decent hand, King Jack. Raises with the king jack like everybody would do. 400,000. Marchese with just a king four. Vince, everybody wouldn't do this. Huh. Re raise over a million with a king four offsuit. And he just understands getting the last bet in before the flop and betting on the flop is just a powerful play in poker. And it really puts such pressure on your opponents that unless they hit a good flop, they just give up the pot to you. And Andrew Roble is going to make the call. In this case, both players have flopped two kings, so this time it could backfire on Marchese. He is out kicked, as we say, and this pot could spell big trouble for him. Yeah, and he's coming out to bet, hitting his kings with the worst kicker, 700 grand. Robel, not gonna repop though, just gonna call him along. Turn card. Three of diamonds comes off. No help from Marchese. Big cheese is thinking to himself. What did he call me with? Do I have kicker problems? Yeah, I think she slows down checks. Well, obviously he's hoping Robo's got two queens or a jack-10. Some kind of straight draw. And Robo, though, not going to waste an opportunity. He's putting chips out there. 1.2 million. 1 million is the best man. Well, you see Marchese getting up there. Says, What's going on here? If this guy's got this hand beat, wouldn't he have re-raised me before the flop? Or wouldn't he raise me on the flop? Wow, he's going to get the action. Marchese has called Big Cheese in a lot of trouble right now. River card. Oh, an ace comes off. Now, believe it or not, that might be the card to save Marchese money here. I guarantee you, Robo does not like that ace. 
Tom checks just in case his opponent had ace 10 or ace jack or ace queen. He now knows his two kings are no good. Yeah, and Robel not going to go with the value bet he checks as well. I don't blame him. I'd have checked it down too, but Robel going to win this pot. Two kings with the jack kicker. And with that pot, that puts Robel well out in front now in this heads up battle. The 25 year old out of Burlington, Vermont, the poker pro who plays around the world, taking down a good one. Well, Vince, can you just sense the frustration setting in on Tom Marchese right now? He's starting to wear his emotions on his sleeves. He's pretty cool, but you can just see, it appears to me, frustration setting in. The big cheese is slowly melting away here, Mike. And the antes are 25,000. Blinds are going up to 100 and 200. Action going to Robel, and he's got a real hand. Pair of tens. He keeps catching hands like this. He's going to be all right. I might call him the big rat that ate up the big cheese. He makes it 400,000 to go. Marchese with just a 7-4 diamonds. All in. Whoa. He's taking a shot, maybe at the wrong time. Under. And a quick call by Andrew. Well, not the time to move all in here. Oh, I got the unders. And Andrew Robo on the verge of taking down his first tournament ever. I like my side, to be honest. Diamonds are lucky. Which is hard to believe as much money as he's won playing poker that the guys never won a poker tournament. Right now, in great shape to do just that. If the two tens stand up, Robo will be our champion. Seven, four, diamonds, man. Diamonds are forever. William Reynolds. The adventurer, Big Cheese's friend, roots him on. He's going to need a lot of help here, Vince. He is really in bad shape. Well, the flop comes up, ace, queen, six. Sure, I'm sure you're rooting for a spot to red five. That's fair. Tom Marchese must catch two runners to make a straight or two runners in a combination of a seven and a four. Otherwise, it's tapioca pudding for him. Yeah, the Big Cheese getting oh dear. sliced and diced right here. Guess I could have waited for a slightly better hand. Here comes the turn. Well, the three comes oh. off, so he's still alive. There's a little hope. He can catch a five on the river and make a straight and win this pot. It's always a sweat. Go. Poker, right? It's always a sweat. They're all out. Well, as long as it's not the five of spade, of course, because that would give Robel a flush. Now, you know Andrew Robel's thinking it's never easy. Why couldn't I close him out on the turn? If this five comes up, it'll be another <laughs> Bellagio miracle. Here we go to the river. Will he hit the five? He did it. Unbelievable. He hit the two runners to make the straight. Tom Marchese lives on. Well, Andrew Robo can't swallow a BB right now. Hey. Recount. Settle down. What are we? Unbelievable. That's wow. crazy. That's crazy, Mike. Unbelievable is right. No question about it. Lady Luck shining on Tom Marchese that hand, that's for sure. Unbelievable. He stays alive. It ain't easy being cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy. You got to work hard for that. See all that money on the table? Those are cheesy bucks. Cheesy bucks, no one else's bucks. This is going to continue. Stay with us. The heads up battle will not go away. We're coming back in just a moment on the World Poker Tour. Back in the game. Back in the game. This winter doesn't have to be long, cold, and boring. Imagine flying into Vegas, staying at a beautiful hotel, and playing poker with the biggest names. And it's all paid for. Win your chance for a free poker dream vacation. Win a free seat to the WPT World Championship in Las Vegas. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT39 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Players that started this final table, Tom Marchese, Andrew Robel, and as you can see, they're about dead even in chip count right now. The antes are 25,000 blinds, 125 and 250. Here we go. Robo with a queen, 10 of hearts, has raised, makes it 500,000 to go. But Tom, Big Cheese, has ace jack of diamonds. That's a big hand playing heads up poker. Casey knows it, and he's going to re raise. Yep, going to 1.2 million. But Robo going to fight for the pot. He makes the call. So we're going to see a flop here. The flop comes jack seven deuce all spades. Nice flop for Marchese and then he's got top pair with top kicker. Yep and he's coming out with the bet. 1.2. Andrew nothing hitting there for him. 
He's got no hand, no draw, yet he is reaching for chips to try to win this pot. Well, you're right. He's going to try to bluff it. He has re-raised. He makes it 2.5 million. All in. Oh, wow. Right back in your face, Andrew. He's going all in because he had ace jack, but had he had ace king, ace queen, ace tenny to muck that hand. Well, that's the first pot that we've seen Robo make a move with no hand in that spot, and it cost him. He got burned, Vince. We better go back to his tactics of just waiting on a hand before he starts putting in a lot of chips. Uh, he was burnt like the fried chalupa at Taco Bell. <laughs> well, you got to admire the play, though. A lot of hands his opponent would have thrown away right there. All in. Andrew Robo now says all in with just 10-8. How much is it? Tom's got a pretty good queen 10. Andrew has just passed the pain threshold. He says if this guy has to take runner runner to beat me, I'm also just pushing that with nothing hands. And now, big decision for Big Cheese. He knows he could gamble here. He'll still have the chip lead if he plays the pot and loses it. But still, do you want to give your opponent another 2.4 million with just a queen 10? Well, he will be a hero if he should make this call on his hand hold up. I call. Oh, he's That's gonna love himself. Wow. He's called. And now he's in a great position to take this title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call, Mr. What a call by Tom Marchese right there. Has his opponent dominated. It's Queen 10 versus 10 8, but Vince, I promise you, not a lot of players would have made that call no. of an all in bet with Queen 10 no. in this situation. Like he could see right through the cards, boy. What a nice call. Well, Robo got very unlucky a little while back. Perhaps he'll get lucky here to stay alive. Finish him, Cheese. He got the suck out of a lifetime. That is Tom Big Cheese Marchese, and now he's on the verge of taking down this title. Can Andrew get revenge with an eight? Can he do it? Flop is eight eight. He's flopped flip eight. Oh my gosh. It's come in eight seven. And right there, Unreal. you see some poker justice, folks. No doubt about it. Happy days for the Robles. <laughs> <laughs> stays cool. Well, one more time. Marchese has to hit two runners to win the pot. Marquez Doesn't runner. happen no, here. It does not. Well, that's going to do it. Robo going to double up here. No card. Marquez can catch to win the pot. No rhyme or reason out here tonight. You think a guy's supposed to be rewarded for making a yeah. call like that? Yeah. Instead, he's punished. He is punished. This is great. This is awesome. And the Robo's girlfriend there trying to cheer him on, and why not? Just as long as he wins. He knows there's a lot of big malls in Las Vegas. He can do some nice shopping in if he wins this tournament. That's a duty to stay to me. The deck to take you in bold. Nice comeback for Andrew. And even after losing that pot, you see Marchese still out in front. Eight million to 5.6 million. This is an incredible seesaw battle of heads-up competition at Bellagio. So we've seen the poker guys bless both of these guys so far when they've had all their money in as a big dog. Robo this time moves it up, raises, makes it a half a million with ace four. Right behind them, the big cheese has got a real hand, a mid-pair, pair of eights. And he's going to re-raise, go into 1.2 million. Let's see what Robo does here, but you might think it's the kind of hand a guy can get away from here. He still have over 5 million left if he throws it away now. But... Oh, and... Wow. Oh, he's gone all in. Huh? Voice cracking, goes all in, and a quick call by Big Cheese. I don't like this all-in bet by Robo. Even if his opponent's got Queen Jack or King Queen, He's only a dollar fifty underdog. There's virtually no hand he can beat. Let's try the same flop. Eight eight seven. And the ones he can beat, he's still not much of a favorite in. So, not fond of this play. But let's see if it works out for Robo. You just got to think it doesn't make sense. He's pushed a little too hard, and right now he's on the verge of losing. Here's the flop. And eight right on the flop. Marchese has hit three eights. And now Andrew Robo must catch two runners to win this. He must catch a deuce and a three to make a straight. Obviously, a 6-7 would give him a straight also. 6-7. He needs to hit two runners. Nothing else will do. Must make a straight to win. But we can't have two beats like that. Well, we saw Marchese do it earlier. Yeah, we did, but... Ken Robel do it. 
and Jack comes off. Tom Marchese has done it, Mitch. He is our champion. The Big Cheese is the winner here at Bellagio. The $100,000 Super High Roller. Congratulations, Big Cheese. You gotta feel good for Tom, but you gotta feel very sad for Andrew Robel, who was so close to winning this tournament. That is the heartbreak of all heartbreaks for Andrew Robel, who played impeccably, and he's going over to talk to Jess Wellman. Andrew, you took one of the roughest beats we've seen in a while. Vince Van Patten said it's the worst he's seen on the tour in years, but you handled it like a pro, and you couldn't really see on your face what was going on in your mind. What went through your head during that hand? When the hand's all in, I try not to think about it. There's still play left afterwards, just so I'm emotionally ready to play the next hand, regardless of what happens. So uh, there's still, you know, a lot of chips left, a lot of play left after that, so I just moved down to the next hand. All right, now we go to Mike Sexton with our new super high roller champion, Tom Marchese. Okay, well, the winner of the WPT super high roller at Bellagio, Tom Marchese.